Hi guys, Kelly here, and I wanted to share with you guys today a try a chapter type of thing that I am going to do with a new um, type of medium that I have never tried before, and that is Japanese light novels. I had never heard of light novels until about a month ago. Um, a woman that I often um, buddy read with, she just started a channel. I'll link her down below. Her channel is called Bread and Books, and her name is Chris. And Chris did a video where she hauled a bunch of light novels and talked about what they were. And from her description, a little research I did, it sounds like Japanese light novels are just books written in Japan that are focused more on a young adult demographic. So they're kind of like the Japanese YA. And they often come in like volumes and so that you would have like several volumes. And some of them turn into like they might have manga adaptations or anime adaptations but these are actually like regular books with the occasional um, graphic in it and stuff like that and I thought that sounded really interesting because I have tried manga before but haven't really felt like it was like the medium for me and like something I really um, was interested in so I thought that this would be a way to read some Japanese literature and something that I might find more interesting so I got some recommendations from Chris and I also watched a couple other youtubers I'll link them down below um, people that read a lot of light novels and review them so I got some recommendations from them and I picked out I picked out seven um, different series to try out um, one I still have been waiting for a month for my library so I will not be doing that in this one um, but I have six I have five here and then I already had to return one to the library that I've already tried the first chapter of and the reason I'm just gonna try the first chapter is because there's a lot of them and they have so a lot of these have like 10 books in the series and so I don't want to commit to reading the whole book if I start it and I'm not interested because like I said this is the first time I'm trying them um, so I thought a try a chapter would be the best way to know which series I want to like actually dive into and get a bunch of and read in hopefully its entirety so the book that I already read a chapter of was Overlord volume 1 by Kugane Maruyama and I apologize if I butcher any of these names I have looked up how to pronounce them but I still might not say them all correctly um, and so that story I just read like the prologue and the first chapter and it is basically about a man who spends a lot of time in a game um, he's created his like uh, avatar in the game and has spent a lot of time on that and creating a whole like world for himself inside this game and friends and everything and then the game people have sorry I'm not a gamer so probably not using the right words for this so the the people that like created the game decide they're creating a new version and so they're closing down the version of the game that he is playing and so the very first chapter we see him in like a room in the game with another one of his like players that he's become friends with and they're kind of just saying goodbye to this world they've created inside the game and then he's there alone doing his final goodbye and it was like really surprisingly touching <laughs> and I did not expect that because of all of these I didn't I read this one first because I kind of didn't think I was gonna be into it because I'm not a gamer but I just really felt connected to him right away of like how much he loves this game and like he's giving up like a huge part of his life by having to like say goodbye to this game and start over with his avatar in a new game. Um, and so I was just really pulled in. So I do want to get that one from the library again and continue. Um, I've heard that the kind of trajectory that the story is going into is that he gets like sucked into the game as it's shutting down that um, I don't think had happened yet in the first chapter um, but that is kind of like the overarching plot of the story so I will be um, picking that back up again when I can get it from the library and then that means I have five more that I'm gonna go read the first chapter of I did last night read two of them and I would have updated you last night but I was in my pajamas in bed so I didn't so I will tell you about them now and so the first one is the one that Chris recommended and um, was the one I was most anticipating and that was Toradora Volume 1 by Yuyoko Takeyama and this is kind of a like high school story romance type thing so we meet our our main character Ruiji and he is um, 
kind of always been seen as being scary and just because of the way he looks like he has big eyes and a lot of white showing in his eyes so everybody kind of thinks he's intimidating even though he doesn't mean to be that way just like the way his face looks um so he's kind of called the bad boy even though that's not really his personality and in the first chapter we're kind of following him and like in his house getting ready for the first day of school in his um, second year of high school. And he wants to kind of like start fresh and hope that this year in his new classroom of, of people that they will see him differently. And so we see him go to school the first day. And the other thing that happens in that chapter is that he meets a, a girl or runs into a girl who named Tyga, who, um, is pretty feisty she's small and feisty and I think that's her on the cover here and it sounds like they're gonna have a bit of a hate to love relationship maybe um, from the description it sounds like they both have crushes on other people and are, are like the each other's best friends and so I think it's gonna be one of those things where they help each other to get their best friends but then maybe they fall for each other I don't know that's just my guess um, Chris said this was a really cute when she the anime she really loves and so I thought this would be a cute fun read from the first chapter I thought it was like really you I liked our main character I liked his interaction when he first like runs into Tega so I am excited to continue this one so so far that's two for two of ones that I do want to read I'm hoping that all of these are amazing because then that's gonna be like six brand new series that I have to continue. But if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. And so the next one I read was Book Girl and the Suicidal Mime, which is the first volume by Mizuki Nomura. And this is about a girl that calls herself the Book Girl. So her name, what was her name? Um, I think her name was Toko. So she is a girl who actually literally eats books. So even though she calls herself a book girl, like that's how she gets her nourishment is to eat the pages of books. And in our first chapter, we see her and our main character who this book is from the point of view of Konoha. And he is the one that we're following. And he is the one that writes the stories that she ends up eating um because they joined like they've started a little like writing club and so far the only two people that are members of this club and basically she he just writes stuff and then she eats it and then they also talk about literature as a whole so i've heard there's a lot of references to um books in this and other like literature that's out there and then kind of the plot that just started in the first chapter that seems to be the overall plot of this volume at least is that a um, girl comes in wanting them to write a love letter for somebody she has a crush on and so that she will be able to get a boyfriend and I think it's gonna be a little bit about how love stories can be good bad tragic whatever so just from that first chapter, I was interested just in the fact that there's a concept of this girl who eats books and that this is a book about books and about stories and writing them and eating them and all that. I just thought it sounded really interesting. So I do want to finish this volume and then find out if I want to continue from there. And I think the next one I'm going to pick up is another one that Chris recommended, which is ReZero Starting Life in Another World by Tepei Nagatsuki. And I'm going to try the first chapter of this one. This one, I think the first chapter is actually like 60 some pages. The other two were more like 20 pages or 40 pages. So I don't think I'm gonna read the whole first, yeah, the whole first chapter is like 67 pages. So I probably will just read till about page 30 or so, just to get a, tr a like taste of the story. Okay guys, so I ended up reading 20 pages of ReZero and this was about a average teenage boy named Subaru who ends up being like waking up in a new world so he is in a place he's never seen before he feels like he must have some kind of abilities because everything he's ever read or seen where people suddenly are in a new world they have special abilities but then some guys attack him and it turns out he doesn't have any special abilities he just gets beat up but then this like girl just appears and saves his life with some form of magic and that's as far as what I got I don't think I'm going to continue reading this one at this point from the 20 pages I read I just didn't feel like I really um, 
got sucked in to the story. The thing I did enjoy was it seemed like this is a pretty popular thing in light novels or, or um, manga, the whole like getting pulled into another world and you could tell in this one that they were being a bit um, satirical about it because he was it was they were making fun of that fact like when the girl saves him with her magic he's like man I really expected that magic to be a little more exciting and more stuff to happen <laughs> um, so it's kind of like making fun of itself which I like that part but what I didn't really enjoy was it felt very explainy and a lot of like tell not show um, like he would just be I don't know just it just the style of the writing just wasn't pulling me in and getting me like I really didn't even want to read the full 20 pages so I don't think I'm going to continue this one at this point it might get more intriguing later on but since I've already found three that I want to continue this will not be one and, but I am going to try the next one which is No Game No Life Volume 1 by Yu Kamiya and so I will read what let me see at the first chapter so it looks like the prologue is 18 pages so maybe I'll just read the prologue okay guys I finished the prologue of No Game Li No Life and this is about two siblings um, the brother Sora and the sister Shira and together they form blank which is their alter ego for their like online presence and they play tons of games and they are like the top winners of all these games and so they're kind of like legends in the gaming world and that's basically all they do is play games and they don't fit into regular life and one day they get an email from somebody saying you know basically that that they don't do they ever feel like they were born into the wrong world and this person like t basically like is telling them that they belong in a different world and comes out of like their computer and drags them into this other place which is a world where everything is solved through games and stuff like that so it's kind of like their dream world and that's all that's happened so far in the prologue so at the very end of the prologue they uh, have just appeared in this game world and it was interesting um i don't think i'm going to be continuing with this one at this point like i think the concept is interesting and i was keep i was fine reading it but um there was something about the writing style i didn't like love it was very like choppily written and i kind of looked forward and it looks like that's how it's written the whole time and i don't know it just it didn't really flow very well for me so i just think at this point since i already have three that I'm really interested in this is not gonna be one right now but I did think that the concept was interesting and so I might come back to another time but for now I'm I am gonna set this aside and not continue it but if it's something that interests you it might be one you want to pick up and the last one I'm going to try is the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya by Nagaru Tanegawa and this one is one where instead of volumes each one has a different title it always has her name in it but I think it's like this one is the melancholy and I think other ones are titled other things um, and so let's see if how long the first chapter of this one is this one is oh it's 30 pages so I'll see if I can get through the whole first chapter um, of this one 30 pages isn't bad unless I'm not enjoying it okay guys so I had to move locations to finish off this video but I did finish the first chapter of the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya and this one was a lot of fun it really sucked me in the narrative was just easy to read and I just enjoyed the first chapter a lot um, it's told from the point of view of a boy named Kyun it is the first it starts off the first day of their first day of high school um, and so there's different kids coming from different middle schools um, they're getting to know each other so the book starts out with them in their classroom homeroom um, introducing each of them like saying what middle school they came from what they like to do yada yada so it all seems normal until Haruhi introduces herself and like the thing she says about herself is I have no interest in ordinary humans. If you, if there are any aliens, time travelers, sliders, or espers here, come join me. That is all. And so she shows herself to be a bit off and a bit weird. 
and um, Kion is sitting right in front of her, so he's kind of like intrigued by this girl that's a bit weird. Um, he makes some friends that are from the school that she went to middle school and finds out that she's always been a bit of a weird person and has always talked about aliens and other supernatural creatures and really doesn't talk to people at all or interact with them. And so he's just going day to day, he's sitting in front of her, and then he just decides he's going to start talking to her. And every time he talks to her, she basically like shuts him down and all that stuff. But as like time goes by, she starts responding and they start having conversations. And everybody else in the school is kind of like, how are you getting Haruhi to talk to you? Because nobody else has been able to get her to have a conversation with them. And then, like, as we're getting to the end of the chapter is when the plot starts kicking off where she is wanting to have a club that is interesting and she tries to join all these other clubs. None of them are interesting to her. And she's finally decided that she's just going to create her own club. And that's how we end the chapter. But from the back, we find out this club that her and Kion start is going to be about people that are searching for the extraordinary. So... I don't know, I'm going to definitely continue with this one because I did find the first chapter really enjoyable to read. I just liked the writing. So the four that I'm going to continue are this one, Toradora, Book Girl, and then Overlord. So those are the four light novel series that I want to continue. So probably what I'll do, um, I have to return Toradora to the library because it is due tomorrow. So I'll probably continue one of these books, finish it, see how I feel and decide if I want to continue the whole series. And I also have to make sure that all of them are in English. So that was my introduction to light novels. Um, I will link all the like titles and authors down below so you can look them up. Um, some of these also have manga versions. So if you would rather read the manga, you know, you can look that up or you can try light novels for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.